My first thought was I was going to use, because I just unlocked it, the inline uh, Mark II cockpit. But I honestly don't know what the advantage of it is over just the, other than the fact it's in line, over just the regular Mark II cockpit. Um, and I, I think I'm going to go with the regular one. It's a little bit lighter and pretty much ser serves a certain purpose. So I think I'm just going to go with this one. We will put on, I have the do -do 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 connections. That's what I'm looking for. The uh, inline Mark II Clampatron, that guy there. We're also going to, this is going to be primarily a passenger vehicle. And I have the uh, four crewed passenger compartment there. And this is really going to replace that Puff 2 that you've been seeing so much of. Um, in, but I think this will be a more economical way to get folks into space. And then I'm going to put in... The short liquid fuel, is it, oh wait, this is just liquid fuel. You know what's an easier way is to sort these by Mark II parts because that's what I'm interested in. Uh, Monopropellant, not liquid fuel. Rocket fuel, there we go. And then I'll put on the Mark II bicoupler. So this is going to be your sort of our central core here. And on the back of all that, Gonna put on a pair of these toroidal, two of them. There we go, toroidal aero spike engines. And you can see right now this gives me about 1530 meters per second and a ton of thrust. Though of course I've yet to add, well you know, wings and jet engines to it. So this is gonna be coming down. But you know, the toroidals will be for the upper stage part of this. Let's start adding on some wings. Adding on a bit of structure. So we're going to start with, let's, I always find it quicker if I do these by mass. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's the regular old delta wing. And then the, is it the type? Nope, not that one. Unless I, can I stick them on? Is it? No, I think it's better to use these ones. Yeah. The type E's on that, and probably also the do 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 do. Where are those wing strikes? And again, this is just really really rough for now. On the back of these, we'll put on some of these control surfaces just for now before I forget, and try and figure out which way they need to rotate. Eventually, that's what I'm looking for. And finally, uh, that one, right? Yeah, that sort of fits with it. There it is. Okay, so that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Actually, do 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 do. Oh, we'll see how it goes. I'm. I'm yeah, let's, let's start sticking on some more stuff. So I'm going to also, again, this is all really rough for now. Let's stay in aerodynamics. I'm looking at this one, the engine pre-cooler. We'll put that on there. Um, uh, it has a little bit of liquid fuel. It also has air intake in it as well. Um, and we're going to need all the air intakes that we can. That's going to sit on the back there. And on the back of that... We'll go our whiplashes. So this is going to be the kind of general design. We'll definitely be tweaking this. Some Mark I fuel cans on the front of that. And perhaps on the front of that. Actually, let's go with... I was recognizing as I was playing around with making the thumbnail for this and trying to make something that could fly a little bit that uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer was what's going to be in short supply so I just put a couple of more LFO tanks on there and then for some more air intakes I'm looking at the adjustable ramp air intake these again were just newly unlocked which are really again designed for uh, dealing with high atmosphere and high velocities and I'll probably stick on some of these where are the other air intakes I'm looking at? Put on... Get these by name. Put on some of these ramp ones as well. They're also good, but I'll, I'll wait till I sort of see. 
Ah, there we go. So, very, very roughly, uh, I'm not even sure. I guess I'll take these off for now. Keep playing with this. So what do we got happening down there? Just, just wait. I'm going to separate these two because they'll definitely not go on at the same time. I'm going to turn off the thrust limiter on that. Okay. All right. Let's keep going with this. So we're going to put on some sort of a, a tail mechanism here. And I was playing around with... I think it's the type ease. Yes. Try that again. You can do it. That's what I'm looking for. Really, I want these to be straight up. Let's see if we can adjust these. There's something that just doesn't look right. I, I don't know. Something looks funky on that. Let's try that one more time. These ones. Ah, put on the lock. Uh, I think I know what's going on. I think I actually need to rotate this just a little bit. Yeah. It's because of the way they're sitting on there. We'll fine tune these in just a little bit. But then I was going to get some more type E's and kind of come across the top. I haven't really done... That's what I'm more looking for, that kind of an idea. And I can see there's going to need to be many, many adjustments here. Bring them in like that. That's kind of the idea of that, and then to put uh, some control surfaces on there as well. Looking at you guys. So, and you guys like so. Everything looks uh I don't I don't like the way things are play some more. Oh, I bet. Try and get those as vertical as we can. Alright, and of course we're gonna need, and I believe I now have the advanced canards. These fellas. That look very spacey. And those are already got control surfaces on them. Okay, uh, so what we need to do now that we've really, really roughly, roughly done this is try and sort of hash this out a little bit. Now I want to slide this downwards. That's looking okay on that end. And I also got to look at where the center mass and the center lift is. That's completely, completely wrong. I definitely need the mass more forward and the lift more backwards. But this is one of the main reasons why I put this thing on here. Because now I can just take this and slide it like well back. And of course slide these other wings back. Oh, that's the... Oh, yeah, of course, that's going to take the engines with them. Still looking okay back here. More back. Much more forward. There's more of the kind of thing I need. Fortunately, what ends up happening when you do this is you get the 
that clipping thing happening there. Oh, well, I might just have to deal with that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's slide these really quite a ways forward. Let's. So I don't. I want to be able to bring these wings more forward. That. That. Where are the wings sitting back here? I'm going to bring the wings right to the edge of those toroidal engines. Make that our... And... These need to come back. the mass back without affecting the all right I think we're roughly getting into something that's tolerable let's try and clean things up a little bit we're gonna bring these strakes in Maybe bring them I think I'm gonna be bringing yeah I got I can see I also need to bring the lift downward so we're gonna start grabbing these pieces and doing this down Oh, yeah, of course that's going to do that, isn't it? Down. Okay, and this one. How's it look from below? Oh, these definitely need to come in. That. Spend a lot of time tweaking this. You know, I, th I think I'm going to put some small delta wings on the end of this stubby bit, too. I think that'll help. Straight. Oh, we've lost. Oh, I know what happened here. These, of course, have come out. There we are. And I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, this is going to take a lot of testing. <laughs> it is a lot of fiddling about and small things that have to be sort of taken care of. Go in there. A little bit more inwards. There. A little up. That looks well lined up now. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of small delta wings would be my guess. Those are big. Let's range these by mass again. that and we'll tilt these up a little bit because I like the look of that <laughs> and also I'm just realizing too I don't like this edge here so what's that do for me oh that kind of works doesn't it or would a small delta wing be better let's get back to this again doing aesthetic choices here but I think that kind of works there we go and mass and lift okay I think the same bad let's instead of moving the lift move the mass now one thing 
The fuel cans are relatively centrally located, which is nice. So here's most of the fuel in these three cans here. That does help keep the center of mass stationary while while in flight. I, I, I'm thinking this might be starting to come out to be something that might work. I'm going to be really shocked if this works as quickly as... Let's put a couple of small ones right here. Lifting surfaces, I mean. Unless that looks really stupid. It kind of does. Okay, let's take them off. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, where is the thrust vector? Because I have been moving things up and down, and I want to keep that thrust vector pretty much in there. Now, one engineer gives you a nice tool for this. We take a look at the torque. It's 18.6 kilonewtons. Actually, this makes me think about something else. What would be a good idea before I get any deeper? Speaking of torque, having an extra set of reaction wheels certainly isn't going to work. Helps hurt, so I'm going to stick these in there. And then just kind of tuck this. All right. I think so. Okay. Um, right now these, this thrust is still on zero. So this engine thrust is just on these two engines. I'm thinking that probably is close enough to not to have to worry about. And then when we're in orbit. Oh, we'll see. We'll give it a test fly and we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Oomph, anyway, how much, oh, I should check that. If I take the thrust limiter down on this and go with compact, there we go. 1,217 meters per second left in the rocket stage. And 14,000 meters per second in that stage. Again, we're going to give this, this is going to be a primary. If this works on the first go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be more shocked than anybody. But I'm thinking I might be on to something that actually might be worth giving a try. Let's tweak. I'm just going to move these control surfaces here inwards. Maybe downwards just a bit. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so let's see. These guys here are going to be for pitch control. Oh. I'll turn the authority. This is going to be for pitch control. Additional pitch control at the top here is probably not a bad idea anyway. Uh, this is going to be for yaw control. This is going to be for, let's tweak that up. And this one are going to be for roll control. Hopefully that's enough control surfaces going for me. Okay, what else we need on here? We need a KOS duber for, for my software. Stick that, let's get up towards the front here. And we'll put in our boop file up the disk space too. Yep. Uh, we are going to need a solar panel. And what's been a suggestion for the last little bit is to actually just, I like this one, is to use a deployable solar panel rather than the static solar panel. So when we're in space, we can just deploy that. And that should be fine for charging up our batteries. Let's retract that. Um, speaking of which, Let's throw in a couple of batteries. It's gonna hide them somewhere. Sure. I think that should be enough of that. Um, landing gear. <laughs> Mike should make a cargo version. Yes, if we can get this to work, a cargo, that came up in the chat there, a cargo version would definitely be something I would be thinking about, but not today. Today I want to make a, let's take 
tourist up version. And landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, and oh, I only have, I still only have the small landing gear. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we'll have to make do. So I'm going to stick these, actually, put on the center mass again. Should be a little bit behind the center mass. Again, I don't like that angle. So I look pretty straight up and down. More into the middle of that fuselage. All right, and then one here at the front. About there-ish, I guess. Okay, let's... Whoops. There's what I'm trying to do. So I want this to be sitting very slightly up on the runway. And you can tell by which landing. Actually, this might not be bad already. It might not be terrible. I think my front landing gear needs to be a little bit more down. A little bit more into the surface here. There. Let's give it a slight up pitch. That'll help with taking off. I'm going to increase the friction on these back ones. That helps, I think, with landing. And we'll disable the brakes on the front one. Actually, no, there's no reason to disable the brakes, but we'll disable the steering on the back ones. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking, oh wait, action groups. I'm thinking I'm pretty close here to trying to, so what we're gonna end up doing is for the first bit of the flight, we're gonna be using these whiplash engines. And then for the second bit of the flight, we're gonna be switching to the toroidal engine. So I'm gonna use an action group for that toggle point. So uh, when I hit one, I wanna turn off the whiplashes. She'll shut down the whiplashes. I want to engage the toroidals. I also would like to, because the air intakes will be serving no purpose anymore, is to toggle the air intakes, which will close the air intake, which will improve, um, will reduce the drag. I'm also thinking, I said I was going to put on more air intakes, and I'm not. More air intakes. I like these adjustable ones here, I like. So I'm going to stick in quite a few of these. So I think the more air, the better, I would think. I'm going to put them all in around like this. More air. I need to take this one, just move it back just a little bit. And then we're going to give it a test fly, and we're going to see how she does. And if she does great, then great. If not, we'll see what we can do to tweak this and get it to fly better. So this is going to be, these are the Dart engines. So this is going to be the Dart 2 dash, those are whiplashes, so W2, the two whiplashes. That is the name of this thing. Okay, we're going to start off... We're just running a simulation. We're gonna see how this flies. Oh, we're oh we're like this, are we? Okay, that's fine. We don't want this. We don't want that. Uh, I thought there would be some sunshine, but oh well. <laughs> I might turn off all of this stuff in the settings. I think this is kind of annoying. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. Let's get into well, let's see what it looks like. Uh, so the brakes are on. Put the view on chase and do, 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 throttle up and brakes off and let's put the lights on for what there are and engage. Okay, we are going. This is just going to be a general flight test. 
is this thing flight worthy? Can I, you know, control it? Will it flip out? Anything like that. So, taking off. It's not lifting up very easily. There it goes. I don't like that. We'll have to work on probably, yeah, I'll have to play with the lifting surfaces on that. That, that was way too, way too, uh, okay, I don't like this. I'm just going to get into the settings just real quick. Oh, terminate the simulation. Okay, I have to, I don't like the wire framing. It's messing me up. Okay, and like I said, this is just a general flight test. I'm not really... Rolls okay. Pitch authority could be better. We up the pitch authority here. And on these advanced canards at the front here. That's better. And yaw authority. Whatever we use it for. Okay, where's our runway? Let's see if we can come down for a landing. And then I'm going to fix this wire framey stuff. I honestly just really don't like it. <laughs> Balance, I think, is all right. We're just going to come in and try and do a landing. Though it's pretty hard to kind of know where the ground is here. And then we'll see how high and how fast we can get this thing to go. Seems to be flying. Oh, and try and figure out why uh, it had trouble there taking off. Could be moving the landing gear forward often will help with that. Moving the rear landing gear, that is. This thing could also use some air brakes once we're... Uh, Let's see how those little landing gear do. Okay, speed seems good. Oh, line's pretty bad. Here we go. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, lots of, I think some auto strutting might be in order, but we're down. And things didn't blow up. I saw some stuff bouncing there. Yeah, I think some air brakes would be a good idea. We'll add those on too. So, fix the landing gear, air brakes, because we are taking a long time to stop. The brakes at 100%. There we go. Okay, terminate the simulation. Okay, let's fix some stuff. Landing parachute. <laughs> Torborn says, how about a landing parachute? I don't want a landing parachute. That's just ripe for abuse. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to go out. I'm going to just change the settings on that simulator so it's not the wireframes because it really is kind of annoying me. So, uh, settings, go into here, and crash, and turn off those wireframes. There we go. That makes me feel better. Okay, so what were we thinking about? We were thinking a few different things. Number one is, I think these landing gear are too far back. So I'm going to take them, we're going to move them forward. And I think that should help with takeoff. Maybe about there. See how that goes. Uh, we did increase the pitch authority while we were playing with this. I put this up around 12, I think, and I think I took the top ones, forward ones, and I put them up to around 10. So that should help. Uh, what else did we need to do here? Oh, auto strutting. There was a lot of, I noticed some bounciness happening, so I'm just going to do some very quick auto, oh my god, I can't even see what's on there. Auto strut. I'm just going to take this central core and do some auto strutting with it. 
I wish things were a little more, uh, maybe the wings too. There we go. And these tanks. Why not just keep going? All right. Uh, what, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Might be about it. Got a feeling there was something else I... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to put these guys onto that action group. To close those air intakes when we are ready to go into rocket mode. Auto strut all the small parts. Let's see how this one works right now. Okay, let's let's go for another simulation. Who's your pilot? That's good. It's probably Jebediah. Probably Jebediah just grabbing that seat. I don't know who's going to be the pilot when we actually go to fly to mission. Yep, Jeb and Bill. Okay, there's that. That. Lights on. View. To chase. Move to here. It's looking better. Brakes on. T. Z. Okay. Close that. There, it looks better now, too. <laughs> I can see what's going on a lot better now. Okay, this is going to be a see how high, see how fast and how high we can go. That's what this is going to be about. Okay, so pitching up. There, that's a lot better. Gear up. And what you want to do with these whiplashes is you want to get them up into... you got to keep your speed up. The faster you go, the more efficient those air intakes are working and the better these whiplashes like it. The more air that's coming in, the better thrust you're going to get. But these are really designed for very, very fast speeds and uh, thinner air. So you kind of want to get up there where they can really get their... do their job, so to speak. Still building speed. I start losing my ability to build speed, I'll just start pitching down. Might pitch down a little bit. So I'm just toggling the SAS to get it to pitch down. It's not really pitching down that much when I do that. Pitch down more. I want to keep building up that speed, building up the altitude. Building up the thrust in the whiplash engine. You can see the thrust display right here. But you'll see once we get super, like, going real, I don't know what the magic speed is when suddenly these whiplashes really start kicking in. But at one point they really start kicking in and then you just want to use them to kind of build that speed up. Should also be paying attention to what my fuel's doing. I think I'm starting to build up that speed now. Let's pitch down a little bit more. Nice and stable though. That's a good thing. Now you can see that speed really building. And the thrust really building in those whiplashes. That's what you need. want to get as much speed as you can out of the jet engines as you can. All right. You know, the one thing about space planes, though, is that I will say, I'm just noticing the rate at which the speed was increasing was dropping off, so I'm letting that build up again. The one thing I can say about space planes is they are a pain. I mean compared to just a regular rocket, they're they're cool and all, but I think their utility you know, there's there's something just dead simple about building a capsule and just 
dropping it into the ocean. Okay, more. Okay, I really want to build up that speed now. Come on. Almost at 1,100 meters per second. That's the kind of thing I want to see. 18 kilometers altitude, so we're now in high space. But I'm noticing that the rate at which I'm climbing as speed is not... Yeah, let's switch engines. So we're going to put on the rocket engines. Pitch up a bit. Get up into some thinner air. We'll leave it right about here. And now more, although this is a pretty shallow ex ex ascent compared to a rocket, now you're kind of more flying it like a rocket. So I'm paying attention to that timed apoapsis. I do want to get up into higher atmosphere. Doesn't want to hold up that altitude. It keeps wanting to come back down again. Yeah, that, that, that higher attitude it doesn't like. Ah. Okay, let's reduce throttle. Just my apoapsis is now like a minute away. So let's put this one on. I just lock this on prograde now. Locking it on prograde, and I want to keep that apoapsis relatively nearby. I don't want it to get too far ahead of me. So I'm just reducing throttle. Is that about a minute and 12 seconds ahead of me? And I've done, I got a few, oh, I'm going to be running out of oxidizer. I can see I'm going to be running out of oxidizer. I, I made no effort. That's always the challenge with this, is balancing liquid fuel to oxidizer, but I can see my oxidizer is running out. So this thing is going to need more oxidizer, and we're done. Okay, we're out of fuel. So there's quite a bit of liquid fuel left, so I'm thinking more oxidizer might do the trick. So what I'm going to do is terminate the simulation. We're going to go back into the space plane hangar, and we're going to add on more oxidizer.